welcome back to the pink envelope. I have a home decor box. I have my second design life delivered box. So the first one that I unboxed was great. It was really cute, very different, really was impressed. So when the opportunity popped up to check out the second box, I said, absolutely yes. I have avoided all spoilers, so I have no idea what's in here. If you are new to Design Life Delivered, it is a home decor subscription box. It is quarterly at $99 a quarter, but they do offer prepay discounts, meaning if you subscribe for all four boxes, which is one year, you're gonna pay less per box. If you use code PINK15, you get $15 off your first subscription, and you can use code PINK10 for $10 off a single box or a gift box purchase. So I have two good coupon codes for you guys to check out. And every Design Life Delivered box comes with five to eight items of upscale seasonal home decor. It was started in 2019 by two female interior designers, which is really great that they have that backing and are curating with that backing. They have over a decade of experience in residential and commercial design, and they create these beautiful curated boxes with every season with pieces you can use year round. Our pieces from last time, yes, were fabulous and they could be used year round. You can buy individual boxes, obviously, coupon code, or the subscription. Let's open this and I'm gonna tell you more about how they're curating the boxes, some new things they're doing, um, some things are changing, so I think getting the product out will make that easier to discuss. Heads up, I'm gonna show you everything that comes in the spring 2022 box. Woo! Okay, this is what I'm seeing on top. Great colors. I am very excited about what I'm seeing here. That looks really good with my shirt. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you this because there's just like spoilers all over, but that is the uh, contents of the box. Once we pull everything out, we can play with that. I'm going for this because this is what I'm smelling. It is soap, clean as a whistle, and bamboo. This smells absolutely amazing. And it has a wood tray. So it has the wood tray that goes with the soap. I um, would love to hear your thoughts on these trays. I am totally down with them on this bathroom sinks that have like a lower level, but I don't like sitting these on the like counter level because you put this here, the water drains off the side and then it runs down your counters. But if you have like a dual le level sink, you can put on that lower level, the water drains off and down into the bathroom sink. Love that. The same thing with my kitchen. I can't put this on the kitchen counter. There would be water like all on the island. However, my outdoor kitchen, which has a little more of a sink area, this would be great for. So these are great, but for me, they're very like iffy where you can use them. But I wanna know if that's the same for you. Like, do you feel the same way? I freaking love using them from a design perspective because they look so cute. Mm, that smells so earthy and so clean. I feel like Wearing this color of green was super inspired. Like I did not know what was in here and I feel like this soap smells like this color of green and looks fabulous with this guy. Shake the crinkle out. Shake, shake, shake. What am I looking at? Oh my gosh. So it is a hanging plant. So it actually can hang right here. Then you have the base of the plant here, but it trails down. I am such a fan of this. I love, love this. I love trailing green. I have a few really long stems shoved in my washroom that drape down by the soap and stuff. So you could actually set this on a counter and have it drape off a shelf or you could hang it. So that is really dual purpose. This base, I don't know what this base is. Can y'all see it actually has a really rough texture to it. I love it. Then the greenery is, it's good. It's not amazing, but it's good. Like the transitions are good, the color's good, it has depth and dimension. It's plastic so that you can like blow it with a blower or wipe it down, but it doesn't look cheapy. I like it a lot actually. And I don't think I've ever received anything like this in a box before. Love it. So I'm like, do I grab this big item or that big item? Let's grab this big item. Is it just a tote? Yeah, it's a tote. It's a very, very nice tote. Excellent material, great colors. 
It has a leather strap to it. So it's a cute little tote. There's no print on either side, which I'm a fan of. I feel like every time we get a tote like this, it has a big logo on it. And that's okay. I enjoy those for like running errands. But if I were going out to like a chic little, I don't know, picnic dinner type thing, I would want a bag like this to go with me. It is a fairly large, not huge, but decent. Like you could put, a, uh, you could put easily three to four bottles of wine in here. It's that big, if that helps you any. <laughs> The inside has a pocket, I love that. The Amani Collective. Together we unleash a woman's greatest greatness through empowerment plus community plus opportunity. This bag was handmade in Mombasa, Kenya by... So this bag has a freaking cool story. Let's see, let's see if I can just turn it inside out. You guys have got to see this. So one of the things they were telling me is that they're really, really focusing on more um, US local made and or small business women owned. And so not every item in every box is gonna feature that, but they really were going to try to pour in in each box to someone somewhere. And so look, you can see the signature of the lady who made this bag and about the company that she works with. And actually, <laughs> this is not, this is not intentional. This makes a stinking cute reversible bag. I wonder if it's supposed to be reversible because look at the seams. The seams are super clean. You cannot tell this bag is inside out right now. And so, I mean, think about carrying that like that. Hold on. Is it supposed to be reversible? The Amani Color Block Tote is made of a sturdy canvas with leather handle and is great for grocery trips, a casual brunch bag, that's what I was saying. Anything and everything. But what we love is the company and their mission. It started in a small village in Kenya, and their goal is to empower women to create and support their families. Each tote is signed by the woman who made it. It doesn't say it's supposed to be reversible, but uh, I say it is. I say that is a pretty chic looking design. Okay, very cute. Love the tote and love the mission behind the tote. What is this guy? Oh my gosh, he's heavy. Kids stole my scissors. I'm having to open everything <laughs> with a letter opener. This is so silly. Oh my gosh, this guy is heavy. Look, and actually each side is different. Look, much deeper tones, gray tones. You can see where they, they blended them together. This is the marble reversible cheese and cutting board. This marble cheese board is sure to elevate your entertaining game. White marble on one side and gray on the other. It is food safe, hand wash, dry immediately. Love this. We are constantly doing entertaining type things with family, friends, but I have just started being more intentional about doing it with my girls. Like I realize I don't have to wait to like my girlfriends come over to pull out nice things and to celebrate nice things. So the kiddos have been enjoying uh, getting to have fancy dinners. So in here you can see all of the products and it, I'm not quite sure I can ask, but there might've been multiple different designs. Like maybe we all didn't get the same plant. I got the middle one in this photo is the one I got, but I'm wondering if other people got different designs because there are three different hanging plants shown there. Okay, so this is the Design Life Delivered Spring 2022 box. There are five items, the handmade tote, the soap and base, the dual sided cheese board and the hanging plant. If you want to subscribe to Design Life Delivered, the coupon code is below for you to go check it out. So at first glance, I literally was like, I love everything in here. And I think the quality of everything in here is outstanding. I will go all the way to say outstanding. But it just felt like it wasn't hitting $99 for me. And so I just grabbed my phone and searched round marble dual sided cheese board to do this, to push up against this guy. And the cheapest one I found that is dual sided and of this quality is 59, but majority of them are around 65. So 59, 59, 95, 63, 54, 60, 
And this is at places like Crate and Barrel, West Elm, World Market, um, William Sonoma, all modern. So they're like very comparable. So we could say, let's say this is a $50 board. And I mean, can y'all see the thickness on this guy? It is hardy. It has got a beautiful bevel to it. It's gonna be great for both design and serving. Okay, yeah, and it's dual sided, right? So I was like, okay, saying that's a $50 board, I totally gel with that. But I was like, I don't know how to like value this bag. I love this bag. I love that it doesn't have the Design Life logo on it. Not that that's a bad thing, but this becomes a fashion piece. This becomes a hang on a hook with its long stem flowers like this guy. Pretend these are long stem flowers. <laughs> See if I can faux. Tucked in the bag and hanging on a rack like this. Let's see if I can do it without breaking everything. So, right, so imagine just beautiful flowers and this is hanging on by a shelf or a rack or whatever. So I looked up the Amani Collective bags to see how much they are. At Palm and Perkins, they're 52. Uh, on Amani's website, they're 44. Uh, I don't see them anywhere cheaper than 44 and I see them priced all the way up to $60. So let's just go split the middle again, right? This is a $50 bag. It has got leather, it has got real canvas, it's handmade. So in just these two items, we have the retail value of the box we bought. It's a $99 box, these are $100. So then I just like, okay, we gotta have a tiebreaker, right? So what is the soap? And the soap, which by the way, smells so freaking good, not counting the base, is an $8 soap. Clean as a whistle in bamboo. And so this is 108, I don't know, add five bucks for this and another 15, 20 for this. So after doing that little bit of research, I was like, okay, okay. I, I'm feeling good about this now. Not only have we proven that it way exceeds the value of what's in the box, it's been curated for us, shipped to us, and everything is great quality. So I like to loop up and push, push up against the products that we're seeing. You guys can't feel them like I can. So it's always, I feel like good when we can kind of talk about value, talk about the quality. I do think this is a great box and it does exceed the value that you would purchase it for. And this guy right here is pine wood. It's 100% pine wood. I don't know if that makes a difference for you guys. And uh, it's four and a half inches across. And this cheese board is eight inches across to kind of give you an idea on sizing. I have so so many more unboxings coming your way. I have more home decor popping up in the next couple of weeks. Obviously, we've had a lot of fashion being featured right now, but then we have some pretty cool hauls popping up, like a beach haul that we've been working on for forever is finally coming to fruition. We've got some book stuff coming, bath stuff coming. It's gonna be awesome. So if you don't wanna miss it, subscribe to the channel below. Hit the little bell if you want the notifications for when I release new videos. And then if you wanna chat and hang out, give feedback, help curate boxes, join our Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group. It is, you can just search it on Facebook or the URL is down below in the description. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribed, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.